Welcome back to the garage guys. We got an interesting video for you here today. In today's video, we're gonna show you how we made this receiver hitch trailer for a truck, as well as how we took our one inch round die, converted it to bend square tubing that we used in this project. And we're also gonna show you how to calibrate your die so you can get perfectly bent hoops like you see here the first time. So to get, a, to get set up to bend square tube, we had to take these two pieces out. And if you watched our last video on 3D printed bending dies, you saw that we made these two pieces and these are the core of the one inch round tube die. So this is the square tube die. So all we had to do was just pull out these uh, bolts here and then replace the core, just the plastic piece. Now, if you notice on this square die, you can see this ridge in the middle. And this ridge is to put that indent, uh, to start the indent that you saw on the inside of the bend to help it bend easier. And that's just something that you can't get rid of with bending square tube. It's, it has to be that way. So I've been getting a lot of questions about follower dies for our homemade bending dies. And what we did is we just took a piece of half inch plate, drilled a hole for a pin, and then we took a piece of inch and a quarter square tubing eighth inch wall cut it down cut it in half and then we just modified it to fit on the to fit the radius of the die we use that as a die for the round side we just took a piece of again inch and a quarter eighth inch wall sliced it down and then welded it on so this is a combo we use it both for um square and round one other thing we've done we do have a pro tools a Pro Tools regular die for inch and a half. And we've taken this and we made little spacers out of it. We just took inch and a half, eighth inch wall, and we put a little uh, welded up base on it or back on it. We did the same thing for the other side. We just welded it on and this fits on like this. So when we're bending, the tube's traveling this way and we just use this base die. So it's two different ways we've made followers for our dies. Okay, so we started off by making two reference marks from this end of the tube at 24 and 48 inches. And we estimated we needed to start our bend at 33 inches. So we put this in our bender at the zero point. So now it's time to measure or uh, calibrate the die. And we're gonna start by measuring the gain and the shrink um, on the die. So what we did was we made this bend to 90 degrees as you can see here and we're gonna measure from 24 to the end of the bend and we're at 14 inches but 33 minus 24 is 9 so we gained 5 inches on this side of our bend and on this side of our bend we have 13 inches to the edge of right here and 48 minus 33 is 15 so we've lost two inches on this side of the bend so now when we go to place our other bends we know we have to add five on the front side of the bend and subtract two on the back side of the bend now normally this is pretty unusual that we were able to get a die that worked out with such perfect numbers uh, normally you would have to be down in the 8th or 16th region, so instead of having 5 and be 5 right on the money, it would be like 5 and 3 sixteenths and then or adding and then minus like 2 and 3 eighths or something like that. So we got pretty lucky on uh, our die calibration. So we're going to make another one of these U-shaped pieces and we're going to make our first mark and we know from, the, from this point here to the outside of the U needs to be 11 and 5 eighths inches. So since we gain five inches on the front side of the bend, we need to subtract five from our bend or our die where we have to mark, put it into our die. So if we want it to be at 11 and 5 eighths wide, we need to make our point at which we grab our die at six and 5 eighths. So we're gonna make that mark here. So we got the tube loaded in the bending die at our six and five eighths mark. So we'll get it uh, all our pins in and everything and we'll give it a bend to 90 degrees. It 
Okay, so we got the bend done and now we're back on the floor and we can have, we have this square here so we can measure it easier. But since we we can measure to the end of this edge here, this square will just make it easier. We're at 11 and 5 eighths. So our, so we gained five inches from our six and five eighths mark. So from this edge here to this edge here is 11 and five eighths, just like we needed it to be. Okay, so on the next bend, we're gonna make this piece in the shape of a U and we want our outside to outside to be 26 inches wide. And since we get a five inch gain on our die, we're gonna measure from outside here to 21 inches. Because we get a five inch gain, we need to subtract five when we bend this. So we're gonna bend the die, or clamp onto the die at this line and make another bend. And we should be 26 inches wide from here to the other end of our U. So we got our piece of tube loaded in into the die at our 21 inch mark and we're gonna make the second bend right now. Okay, so we got our second bend in. We're at uh, 26, just like that. And we need our this leg to be 11 and 5 eighths, just like that leg. So we're gonna measure from the end here. Mark it at 11 and 5 eighths. Get that cut off and then we'll bend up the second one real quick. So here's the finished piece and uh, we'll show you a close up of the bends from the bending die. So that's our finished part, we'll get the other one made up real quick. So we've got all the bending done, our two bottom larger hoops and our two uh, smaller top hoops. So now it's time to start with the final assembly.
we got the receiver hitch carrier all finished up and the reason why we had to make this was because we couldn't find one that has the dimensions that we need to carry these two tents the other one's not here right now these tents to go tailgating and some of you may be questioning why we put these two pieces these four pieces in here that have these cutouts and the reason is so we could take some more of this tube and we could stick it in here and obviously it's going to be taller than this but we could stack them on top of each other and it won't pull out of the trailer and we'll take them out and we can still open the um, tailgate while this piece is in that's why we made it removable so with that uh, we hope you liked the video be sure to comment and subscribe